Oh, Crystal got him. It's too good. In today's Destiny 2 build guide, we're going to be cooking up something for the Stasis Hunter. We are going to be abusing the Shatter Dive ability. On the artifact for Season of the Wish, we have Pillar of Ice, defeating an encased combatant spawn Stasis Crystals. And we also have Hail to the Storm, shattering encased targets and Stasis Crystals deals increased damage. Shattering Stasis Crystals release shards of ice that damage and slow targets. So if you take a look at the footage, you'll actually see these little projectiles shoot out and they actually do about 51 points of damage damage, which more often times than not, they can actually down a guardian that's already weakened. The artifact mods for this season ramp up stasis just enough to make this viable, and it makes the Shatter Dive Hunter a good choice for PvP, and it's also really fun in PvP. For my last video, I actually did a Warlock stasis build. If you guys missed that, go check it out. It is very strong, so you guys don't want to miss out on that. And you guys want to see me perhaps do a Titan stasis build, or if you guys have any other build suggestions, let me know about them down in the comments. And with all that being being said, let's get into this Stasis Shatter Dive build. Obviously, we're on the Stasis Hunter. We've got the Gambler's Dodge, so every time we dodge near an enemy, we're going to get our melee back. Our melee is going to be the Withering Blade. We're going to toss a Stasis Shuriken at targets to damage and slow them, and you can actually get multiple charges with this. And then for the grenade, we're going to want the Glacier Grenade, a grenade that creates walls out of stasis. It can block damage and freeze targets with these walls, and we can also shatter them, hence the Shatter Dive build. Then to buff these grenades even more, more, we're taking the touch of winter aspect the glacier grenade adds a stasis crystal and changes the formation so instead of it just being a straight wall it's actually going to be a circle and if thrown in the right position you can actually trap guardians in the middle of it it's pretty funny then we've got the bread and butter of this build the shatter dive aspect activate while mid-air to quickly descend and shatter nearby targets on impact and then for the fragments the most important one that you guys want is the whisper of fissures it's going to increase the damage and the size of the burst of the stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. So you're going to be doing more damage with this. And because of the artifact mod hail to the storm, the stasis crystals deal increased damage. So it's a double whammy. And for the other fragments, I got Whisper of Shards. Shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts the grenade recharge rate. This build revolves around having your grenade up as much as possible. So this is another must-have fragment. We've got Whisper of Durance. Slow that you apply to targets lasts longer. For those abilities that linger, their duration will also increase. So whenever we throw a Shrooken, it's going to slow them for longer. And remember, because of the artifact mod, when we shatter a stasis crystal, those little seekers are going to shoot out. And if they hit a target, it's going to slow them. That slow will also last for longer. Then we also have Whisper of Torment. You gain grenade energy each time you take damage from targets, which in the Crucible, we're going to be taking damage all the time. Then for our exotic of choice, we're going to be using the Frosties. The exotic perk rabbit cooldown states you increases grenade, melee, and dodge regeneration while sprinting. Dodging increases your sprint speed. This is going to help us have that grenade up at all times. Then for the mods, we have some harmonic siphons on our helmet to create orbs of power with our weapon. We've got a stasis targeting once again for our weapon. On the gauntlets, we have bolstering detonation grants class ability each time we cause damage with our grenade. Stasis loader for our weapon. Momentum transfer causing damage with the grenade reduces melee cooldown. We've got a couple of unflinching stasis aims on our chest piece. For the legs, we have a stasis weapon surge. We've got Recuperation, replenishes our health when we pick up an orb. And better already, health begins to regenerate immediately after picking up an orb. Then for our class item, we have two Bomber mods, reduces grenade cooldown when using our class ability. And we have a Reaper mod, shortly after using our class ability, our next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power. And then our weapon of choice is going to be the Ias Luna, mainly because it has headstone, precision final blows, spawn stasis crystals at the victim's location. This is just going to give us another avenue of having more crystals on the field. But you can go ahead and use any headstone weapon. Honestly, doesn't matter. But if you have an Ias Luna, Ias Luna is a beast of a hand cannon. And that is all you need for the build right there. We are going to jump into the Crucible so I can show you guys how this performs. But before we do, a quick word for my sponsor. Yo, it's time to subscribe to Paid to Be Famous. What are you doing? Subscribe to Paid to Be Famous. Subscribe to Paid to Be Famous. Like the video, come on. Hell You know, you know yeah. the drill? Button. And slap that like button. Woo!
the pressure on. You're almost there. 30 seconds stand between you and victory. Damn! I shattered over the fuck out of him. <laughs> Let's go. Go, Web, go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, turned him into a crystal aether. Oh, that man got yo tuned out of existence. Behind us? Oh, uh, triple, I'll take that. Hit. Hit. <laughs> Hit him with the shuriken. Turn him into a stone. A headstone. Oh no, after we got the third, we got gallied. Oh, the ice, the icicle got him. Happy pants got me. Three opponents down. I'll take that. We take those, chat. Take those. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Laggy. <laughs> you go. be able to get a freeze or something off on them. Crystal got him. <laughs> Too good. 